All right, welcome back to more control. And I know in the last episode, I said we were just gonna, you know, streamline the main mission until we beat the game. Well, there's been a change of plans. You see, we picked up that side quest in the last episode for the Synchrona City Lab, and you just literally fast travel to the ritual division, and bam, boom, you're here. Yeah. Remember this room? Well, boom. It says right there, mirror testing. Yeah. Come down here, boom! Yeah, she actually said a little dialogue, but... Oh, no. It's this. Um, okay, <laughs> aka the mirror, because it's a mirror. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the re the reflected space within the altered item. It is transplanner, psychologically generated or rooted within our own dimension. How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, we need to consider that while we possess the physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through into our world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered items? As with their altered items, as we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is blank. I don't know, you could actually click on it and make a zoom. <laughs> it's new to me. Debrief for Mirror Excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. <laughs> the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside Agent Hardy? <laughs> Agent Hardy is Riveting. healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Yeah. Totally will fix this issue. Uh, another thing. Mirror containment. The mirror does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in glass contains slight distinctions. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any blank, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind. That it reflects the world it wishes were real. Subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side of the mirrors. Uh, for added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Hmm. So is there only two mirrors? I thought there was more than two mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I'm just insane. To think that there would be two mirrors.
Okay. Uh. What did that say? Oh my god. I don't know if it's in here. Yeah, mirror could tame it. Oh yeah, particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Nine fifteen seven four twelve. I mean, I don't really know how to refer to that file. Yeah, 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 Hardy's. But who on earth are you supposed to tell of what panel arrangement? Looks like there's a mirror in there. So I see a red flashing light in that one. And that same flashing red light. Hmm. Oh, I'm dumb. Those flashing lights are the cameras. Wow. The shutters in the image look different. What am I missing? Oh. I think I get it. Right? Okay, so this is the one. That should have this one up. Right? For you, you should be up. What do these shutters do? What a weird way to lock something up. Yeah, so you had to do the shutters in the way the mirror saw it. It's supposed to be good. So, is there anything specific I gotta be doing? Did you see that? Someone's in there. Someone's oh. It's you. Um. Okay, no, that did not mean breakthrough like I thought I was supposed to do. I, don't know. I guess we come up. Yep. Yeah. Cool looking outfit. Uh, 
That's not good. Please speak English. See you. Oh, bull crap. Such bullshit. Why is she shooting that? <sighs> I just need to be more patient with my throws, is all that I need to do. Because, oh my god, she just bams explosives. That doesn't make a fun fight. <laughs> Especially when I don't know if I can pick up those explosives in there and they just do massive damage. I also might want to try and defend. I hate how... Mm, I'm never going to get over that. Now let's just upgrade you. And... Let's... I don't want to... Oh yeah, in inventory. Let's change out peers for charge. And... Plus use... Projectile speed. And... Oh! I see now. Alright, round two, I guess. Well, at least it's... Give me a sec.
I'm back. Sorry about the interruption. One girlfriend calls, you got a girlfriend. There's no offense or buts. You don't have a choice. Oh. Uh, she's just automatically gonna spawn now. Ow. Lame. How does that hit? How did the... It's pissing me off. I don't know how she gets so lucky with her goddamn hits. Especially considering I don't know what she's shooting. Oh, I killed myself. Seriously, that has recoil blast damage. That's bullshit. It didn't help that she got me quite a bit early in the stage. Like, that is such bullshit. Why? Why does this game insist on just having her do nothing but explosive damage? What is the point? Where's the fun? She shot at me a couple times, but every other time she sees me, she's freaking shooting an explosive rocket at me that I don't even have. I just want to win. Nice. <sighs> this time I shall exercise a more study of the race. Switch into explosive. Brown. I don't know. I guess around be more careful. What's that? Oh. So you can hear it. Hardy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then she just puts you in quarantine because she can't understand you. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you. There's something in that fucking mirror. Well, that explains why she thought he was testy, because he was getting testy. It's just through the freaking unintelligible speech you can't tell. Oh, God. Hi, Bing. I, my face mask broke. Said my face mask broke. Before my shift ended. And since I'm going shopping tomorrow, I didn't think it would be that imperative, imperative.
See you in, uh, in a minute. Seriously. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. What was that? Seriously, you're gonna start dodging like those flying maniacs now? Oh! 